Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about read-only memory. In short, it is called ROM. This is the agenda of the session. What is ROM? Types of ROM. What is read-only memory? It is also known as primary memory or main memory or internal memory. It is non-volatile memory means if power is off, data is saved or retained inside the ROM. Earlier, after saving the data on the row it was only possible to read the data stored on it it was not possible to rewrite the data on the read only memory but nowadays there are types of rom available where we can also rewrite the data on the read only memory when we can use read only memory or when we should save the data inside the rom if you do not want to change the data or program frequently or not at all then you could store that type of data in the ROM like we store the BIOS basic input output firmware software there are five types of read only memory MROM PROM EPROM EEPROM and flash memory EEPROM and flash memory are widely used nowadays now let's see master ROM or classic ROM it is the first type of memory which was manufactured. It is non-volatile memory can only read the data or programs stored on it. But we cannot rewrite the data on it. Software or data is stored at the time of manufacturing. So not possible to change the data after that. When this memory is manufactured, at that time only manufacturer store the data inside it. In case any problem in the stored data or software, then it is not possible to correct that data. You will have to buy the new read-only memory and store the data again inside that. In old days, it was used to store firmware software like BIOS. In this read-only memory, data transfer is slow in comparison of other type of ROMs. It is inexpensive in comparison of other read only memories now let's see p rom programmable rom or we can say one time programmable rom otp rom it is non volatile memory it can be programmed only once after it is manufactured once p, p rom is programmed the information written is permanent and cannot be erased or deleted inside this memory manufacturer do not store anything at the time of manufacturing it is produced blank by the manufacturer customer can go and buy from the shop and store the data as per your need only once last slide we have seen the classic room where manufacturer store the data at the time of manufacturing the electrical signal is used to store the data or program this so to program this a particular type of device or tool is used which is called PROM programmer and the process of writing or storing data into PROM is known as a burning the PROM in old computer it was used to store the BIOS why it is called one time programmable because the customer or user can program this only one time this is called one time programmable and this option was not available in the classic ROM now EP ROM erasable programmable read only memory or we can say UV EP ROM it is non volatile EP ROM can be erased by exposing ultraviolet light on it for for duration of 20 to 40 minutes using the EP ROM eraser so EP ROM eraser is a tool which is used to erase the data from the EP ROM once data is erased you can reprogram that EP ROM means you can again store the data inside it so here the option is available means you can rewrite the data inside the EP ROM which was not available in the classic ROM or P ROM so multiple times you can rewrite your data you can delete your data and you can store the data again in EP ROM if you want to erase particular byte it is not possible to erase that particular byte you will have to remove the entire content of the EP ROM so this is the limitation or the drawback also one term is EP ROM programmer so the device which is used to store the data or to program this 
EP ROM is called EP ROM programmer. And the pro process of programming an EP ROM is called burning the EP ROM. One also drawback it is having. Suppose you want to reprogram this, then you will have to remove from that particular socket or from the computer, and you will have to insert in your EP ROM programmer. It was used to store the BIOS, used in a modem, video card, many electronic gadgets. Why it is called UV EP ROM? Because we use the ultraviolet light to erase the data from it. That's now let's see EP ROM, electrically erasable, programmable, read-only memory. It is non-volatile electrical signal used instead of ultraviolet signal to remove the data from EP ROM. Ultraviolet signal is used in the EP ROM to erase the data. But in this room, EP ROM, we use the electrical signal to erase the data. That's why it is called electrically erasable programmable. It takes few milliseconds to erase the data from EP ROM. Also, one, one more advantage, you can erase particular white from the EP ROM. However, it was not possible in the EP ROM to erase the particular byte. EP ROM complete data is erased from the read-only memory. So, you can reprogram this ROM, this ROM multiple times. Also, one more advantage here, in EP ROM, no external eraser is needed to remove the data. Also, no extra device or tool needed to program this. So nowadays it is used in computers to store the BIOS. It is non-volatile like other types of ROM. You can use the electrical signal to remove the data from it and you can also use the electrical signal to store the data inside it. So it is electrically erasable and programmable. You can remove a particular block of data you can remove the 512 bytes of data at a time and you can rewrite the data at the byte level only write the particular byte then you can do that in flash rom and this is the latest rom which is used in the computers to store the bios program and that bios is called flash bios it has high transferring speed but it is costly than the hard disk number of read and writes are limited it is used in the computers to store the bios it is used in a pen drives that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video